Well, everybody out there in the music community, I'm just going to want to make this video. I just want to come on here and say how sad I am to hear the passing of Jeff Beck. Um, when I found out, and the way I found out was a post that Robert on my turntable posted. I, I was shocked and I couldn't believe it. I really didn't. It just it really hit my heart and hit home. And for some reason, that song by the Beatles came to my head too as well, uh, A Day in the Life. And that added, you know, it just made me feel sadder. I, that's all I can really say. Um, I love Jeff Beck. He is one of my guitar heroes. Um, as a guitar player myself, I really couldn't play a lot of Jeff Beck stuff. Uh, he was just unique. He had technique. Uh, when he, he let his guitar do the talking and some of the most incredible sounds came from that. And, uh, Never understood how he developed or how he would work on material, but maybe there's some book out there that talks about, I like, I like to read stuff like that about how artists or groups come up with material, work on songs, work on records. And so, and as my other friend, uh, Jeff at speaker's corner said, I totally agree. We lost a giant, you know, and to all those, uh, guitar players out there that looked up to Jeff Beck, you know, I'm, I send hugs and peaceful vibes and uh, prayers to his family. Um, it's, it's rough, you know, cause we're, we're seeing a lot of our heroes, uh, going to heaven, going to paradise. And, uh, I appreciate all the music that Jeff Beck did. Um, this was one of my favorite records. And the reason why I was showing this at the beginning is I just love this photo of Jeff Beck. And I have great memories about this record too, because when I bought it and when I was in high school, I went home with it and me and my brother listened to this record quite a bit, a lot over and over. And uh, we would just kick back and just play this record and just, you know, just be amazed about what we're hearing. And I would always think to my head that, wow, that's how you play guitar. That's how you do it. He was, he had so many different flavors and styles to those guitar playing, jazzy, fusion, rock. And then he could take a tune like She's a Woman by the Beatles and make it his own. But um, yeah, so I'll be playing this record again pretty soon here. And what I also wanted to take time out to show some of my other favorite uh, Jeff Beck records and uh, that I have in my collection. I thought I had some CDs, but I don't, or I must have them under file unknown, <laughs> which I, that happens a lot here in the music room. <laughs> but I have this two for and uh, I love these two first, uh, two records. And what that is, is two records uh, in a gatefold cover. These were put out by, uh, well, this one's epic, but I know there's also Columbia did, did that as well. But there he is, the legend. Rest in peace, Mr. Beck. And Be Beck Ola, I, I, I do remember when I first got that record, that um, my favorites were their version of All Shook Up, Spanish Boots, and Jailhouse Rock. And the last tune, Rice Pudding, I used to love to hear that song. And then when it would get to that very end and it would just stop, I thought like, you know, it was just a stop and then the music would come back in or fade in. But no, that's just it. It was like an interrupted stop, which makes the song really cool. 
Now, the first uh, album, too, was Truth, and I love Shapes of Things, of course, and I love the vocal of Rod Stewart. Green Sleeves. Who hasn't, who, whoever plays guitar or is learning guitar, we all come across uh, doing Green Sleeves and learning that. But Jeff Beck does an awesome version of that. Here's the back cover of it, too. Just see. Oh, and then there's, you know, the, the cla another classic, Blow by Blow, produced by George Martin. I have two copies of this. One's a Dutch, this is my Dutch pressing of it. But I, I, this is such a killer record. Uh, any, anytime I hear, because we end as lovers, this is so, so beautiful. And that course it was uh, dedicated to Roy Bach Bachman, Bachman or something like that. But another classic record. And um, this is probably the last uh, of my uh, records. But I've always loved this record. And, um, and I'm talking about this one right here. Uh, Jeff Beck's Guitar Shop. I love everything about this record. This record is so good with Terry Bozio on drums and Tony Hyman, Hymas. I, I might be saying that wrong, so apologize, but such a good, good record. I had bought a long time ago one of the tracks on here, and I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, Two Rivers on iTunes. And when I saw this come up used, I, I picked it up automatically, and it it's just such a great great record but i just want to come in here share my thoughts like i said i never saw jeff beck in concert and uh, wish i would have don't know why i never did but you know that that happens and he will be missed by a lot of, and i've saw a lot of even famous people, Gene Simmons, Jimmy Page, uh, Paul Stanley, Ozzy Osbourne, Tony, I, all these comments, you know, his music is going to live in us and through us. Take care, everybody out there in the music community. Peaceful vibes to you. If you get a chance, you're new to Jeff Beck music, go check it out. Listen to it. I'm sure you're going to find something you would like to have in your collection that he uh, recorded. Bye for now. See you soon.